What's up you crazy YouTubers, that's Mike from the Autograph Network coming to you on the Project Deja Vu channel. Uh, with two days of no mail, I thought I'd put a video up here guys. I get a lot of PMs and questions about uh, wink flash and photos, so I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on how I get my photos and how I use wink flash. You guys know I'm pretty much exclusive with uh, wink flash as far as ordering for the project. I just really enjoy their software, their site, and usually I get a great price on it. So I'll walk you step by step what I do for the project Deja Vu. So here we go guys. Uh, both me and Stacy are on Star Tiger, and basically what we do is we go through the daily changes each day and just scroll down this list and find people to write to and basically create a giant master list of who to send to. Um, right now I'm pretty much in charge of photos so I get the list and I search for the photos. Uh, for this tutorial I'm going to use the example of Wes Craven. Uh, the cool thing about Star Tiger is you can it will usually tell you a lot of what they've been in or what they've done. You can see Wes Craven's the director, screenwriter, Nightmare on Elm Street, the Scream series, and The Hills Have Eyes, a bunch of different horror movies. Um, man's basically a legend and it will tell you, um, we'll just use this, let's say I'm sending to this address. Uh, it's not tested, so I wouldn't send to this, but just for this example. So next thing I do, guys, go to Google, click on the Images button, and you'll be taken to Google Images. You can use Bing or Yahoo, they all have image buttons, but uh, first thing you wanna do is just do a basic search, Wes Craven, and that's gonna bring up all these photos and you want to always filter by largest size first. So click on large and now it's bringing up the largest photos first. So all these photos of Wes Craven are considered large photos. So I'm going to use this example. He was uh, I believe the director of The Last House on the Left, the original. Uh, when I highlight this photo here you can see 933 by 428 that's the size you want that size to be at least 400 by 600 that's the minimum you can have for a 4 by 6 photo the larger the better so let's say I want this photo what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click on this so you can see it brings it up you always want to click the full size image here on the right hand side where it says Google Images you can see there's the size, it can be two times bigger, and you always want to make sure it's a uh, JPEG, JPG. So we click on large and now you can see it's full size, takes up the full screen. So once you find your photo, right click, select images, have somewhere that you save them to. In this case, I created a fold folder, uh, I just gotta find it, wink flash demo. So what I normally do is I type in who it is and for the project we usually get three photos per person. And you can see there it is. I've saved it so there's one photo. So now we just backtrack. Uh, this is a nice photo. People under the stairs. It's even got his name on it and you can see it's plenty big. So we'll click on that. Always go over here full size and you can see it takes up a very large portion of the screen. So we'll save that. Uh, Wes Craven. That's our second one. Two. And let's say you don't see any other good photos. You can always check the medium size because it will bring up a bunch of photos. But like I said, you always want to make sure that the size is right. Like this is a great photo of him, but look at the size. 450 by 300 that would not print out good for a 4 by 600 um, again that's 400 by 600 that would that would make it barely but it's make makeable so you can see over here full size image same size 400 by 600 so we don't enlarge that all we save it and we'll do West Craven 3 so now we have our three photos saved. We go over to Wink Flash, Wink Flash, and we log in. So now you can see these are all my folders here. You wanna create a new folder, and this will be demo one. Just 
picking a name and different options doesn't really matter we'll just use the default recreate the folder so there's demo one folder and you can see click here to open there's nothing in it this folder is empty so to add folders click on the add or click here so we click there and it will bring up this folder with instructions uh, you want to browse to where you have your photos saved and so there just make sure that's the right one so there's my three photos I hold down control and select all three of them and open so now they've gone into the queue for wink flash and once you're ready hit send and it will start uploading the folder into wink flash and obviously the more fo photos you have in your folder the longer it will take uh, this is only three photos so it should be fairly quick so just bear with me one second guys as these upload and once it uploads it will automatically kick you to a different screen so just one second obviously also the larger photo sizes you have the longer it will take so you can see 56 1382 so that one will probably take the longest and 273 so now we're here so once you get your photos click all three of them that you want and go over to order prints all right so now this is your shopping cart a couple things here you can bulk change your order let's say I want all five by sevens for this order I could change the entire order by adding the numbers over here right now it's set to four by six and you see a couple of warnings over here uh, crop necessary click to adjust and low quality warning okay we're gonna start with the crop first guys we just click on that and it'll bring you to this screen uh, here's some options you can choose glossy or matte finish I always choose glossy matte is more like the Allen Ginter cards it's that uh, cardboard kinda feel to it and it the colors just don't pop on it so I always choose glossy I like the white borders so I always add white borders to mine and then I usually don't do anything with inset or enhancements I just uh, edit each one so now with movie posters I always use this button right here inset what that does it will take your image and inset it into a 4x6 format for you automatically so that one's done I can move on to the next one and here's a good example guys see how this is your print preview over here see how it says people it should say people <laughs> under the stairs it says star right now if you click this inset button it's going to take that large image and inset it into a 4x6 format so yes you do have a lot of white space up and down but you now have the people under the stairs you have the full image the full words and I'll uninset it so there it is just regular it doesn't look good because it doesn't say people under the stairs when you inset it it changes it and there you go and this one does not have anything because uh, it's a 4 by 6 photo already so you don't have to inset it you don't have to adjust it so now once I'm done I save and you see this low quality warning here we know that it's a 400 by 600 res resolution image we know that's a good 4 by 6 photo wink flash would like you to have a larger photo but we know that's a 4 by 6 um, so that's okay you can ignore that just as long as you know it's a 400 by 600 image you can ignore that um, just make sure when you're saving it it's a 400 by 600 uh, next thing you want to do guys this is the wink flash homepage you always want to check for these coupons guys a lot of these places will run specials smile four four by six six cent photos use that coupon only six cents and September 5th I've already put that in and applied it and you can see over here coupon applied save two cents doesn't seem like much but when you start ordering 50 100 200 300 400 500 photos 
it really adds up so anytime you get a chance to save money save money guys um, so now my prices change and then I'd continue on to check out where I'd put in my information for shipping guys but that's the basics of wink flash it's really simple the reason I like it is really the inset button uh, it's so simple to just inset photos and yes you might have some more white space but man it's nice so uh, just real quick guys if you're searching for something uh, let's go back here real quick I'll show you something real quick so we're looking at these photos that's a nice screen photo but you can see it's already signed by somebody you wouldn't want to use that and just looking around I don't see that screen photo anywhere else so what I'm gonna do instead of searching West Craven put in a specific search what you're looking for screen poster so now it's already set to large and this is gonna bring up all the screen posters that's a nice screen for um, somewhere in here has got to be that there it is that's already signed but um, like I said you can keep searching and you'll find what you're looking for just uh, try narrowing it down it will give you some related searches and you know scream 3 scream 4 scream 2 whatever you're looking for specifically uh, you can even do uh, what's Craven and just see what comes up and of course spelled his name wrong so it brings up some different options there so just something when you're looking and back to wink flash again four by six photos you can change the quantity you get cropping apply coupons so when in doubt make sure you use the inset button because you always always want to check guys when in doubt inset it um, it looks nice just looking at the picture but when you see the words it doesn't look so good so you always want to make sure uh, especially with movie posters I always try and inset it and like I said there's nothing there we know that's a 4x6 photo but Wink Flash wants a, a little higher quality but as long as you know it's a 4x6 photo you'll be okay all right, guys, I hope this helped you a little bit. Uh, sorry I rambled on a little bit, but that's step-by-step -step how to find photos on Google Images using the large filter, uh, pulling up the image. I'm just going to click on this. Always click it to the large size, the largest size possible. So there we go, largest size. Right-click, save image, upload, adjust the cropping apply coupons and check out. Alright guys, Mike from the Autograph Network is out.